It's Tori Johnson, Rodeo Carolina Champion Steer Wrestler. You need a ride? Can I get one? You bet. Get in here. Just to warn you, I get a little bit uh, musical. And every Let's now do and it. again. Let's do it. Every now and again, I'll play some songs, but you got to sing along with me. That's the only deal. But. Well, I'll try. Man, how's it been? Been good. How you been? I've been all right. You got a little banged up, broken foot, huh? A little bit, you know, something. There's a little minor setback to come back for a major comeback, you know. That's it. I like your style. That's exactly right. Got that uh, championship win there at uh, Rodeo Carolina. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I went in there and uh, kind of started out kind of kind of good. Had some good good runs through the qualifier and come back in the average and kind of got a little side so I swiped a little bit off for my first steer in the first go around and didn't place. Come back in the second go around, missed the go of the, the barrier, but. Average came back to the championship go around and was first out and blasted the barrier. Knew those guys was going to chase me, so three Put the eight. pressure on them. Yes, sir. That's it. Well, that's one thing, you know, the WCRA has done so much to help the Cowboys and Cowgirls, you know, putting some more money in their pocket. And, and the whole crew out there has done an amazing job of having these events and trying to make it as even and fair as possible for you guys. I mean, I feel like they're doing a good job. I mean, our pro rodeo and, I mean, being the winner, put some extra money in my pocket to get up and down the road never hurts. So I feel like the WCRA has been a really good deal for a lot of Cowboys. You know, whether you're PRCA or just a, you know, hometown warrior that has right. a nine to five, I feel like it's just a helping, helping goal all the way around. I mean, I know guys that, that work nine to five that come practice with me and I talk to them and told them, hey man, you need to try this WCRA and they've done some good in it. And, you know, it, I think it's just all around win-win. Well, what a lot of people don't know about you, Tori, is you chose rodeo over a football and a track scholarship from out of high school, huh? Yeah, I mean, I did, and uh, the thing is, heck, when I when I chose that, I wasn't even bulldogging. I was, oh, really? No, I was getting on bulls and roping calves, <laughs> and but I was a drilling junkie. Um, I was a DB, and I played on a football team. We won state three years in a row. Oh, wow. I was a big hitter, and I loved to hit, and just riding bulls was adrenaline but it was something that was missing and at school I was watching and watching I said hey I'm gonna try that and so one day we were all out there practicing and I was kind of popping off at the, the bulldoggers and telling them what to do and they told me well if you know so much show us me being the drilling junk I am didn't know my calf horse that I had was on it at that point that um he had actually been stir wrestled on a little bit so I pulled the chain and everything off of him and had just a business map I backed in there I rode by and jumped off on the stair had never thrown one I finally got him to the ground <laughs> well it was springtime so I went home and got with some guys that could really do it uh Clarence LeBlanc and um Jesse Guillory and uh, some twins from uh, Bowley and they were like if you want to do it we'll show you and they started mounting me and it was just like I went to it and it's just here I am today. Actually we haven't talked about your career earnings in the WCRA and it's um, you know it's getting up there. Uh, yes sir uh, I, I guess uh, I don't know back in 2019 is when I well I guess 2018 is where I really started with the WCRA and I had some luck there and then 2019 come around and I had really good luck. I got to go to Green Bay. That's when they was paying yeah. out fifty thousand. Yeah, I remember that. I was there with you. Yeah, and I felt pretty good. I'm not saying it like that, but to beat out all you big guys and you know go head to head with Stockton Graves. I mean, yeah. they, that really kind of boosted my confidence. You know, when when it first started there, I wasn't a, I was a like kind of a, you know, weekend warrior myself, and not really pro rodeo and hard. And heck, from there it gave me the confidence builder. And I'm like, you know. I'm gonna stop thinking as a small fish and start thinking like a big fish. Yeah. You know, I was, I mean, not saying like that just because I'm sitting there with you, but I used to be the guy, I'm like, man, I ain't gonna go to their rodeo. Luke Ben Queen was there, such and such there. Well, I stopped thinking like that and said, well, they gotta think Tory Johnson's here. Yes. Now, you know, so once I got my confidence boosted, I just felt like, you know, I just threw myself to the wolves and here I am today and, you know, I've made a name for myself. Right. Well, and you, you've damn sure made a name for yourself, but I, I can remember when you first started and, and seeing your talent and seeing your ability and, uh, you know, you're right. And I, at all the schools I do, I try to teach, you know, it's not you against stock and graves. It's not you against so-and-so. It's you against the steer you have drawn. And once 
kids and people realize that, you know, it's not me against them. I have to go do my job to my best ability on the steer I have drawn and let them do their job. And whoever does their best job is going to win. Correct. You know, and, and I feel like when you broke away from your thinking of, I don't want to go because so-and-so's there, right, right. it just really helped elevate. And you almost have to, and it's bringing me to our next song, but you almost have to lose yourself. Is you know, that, just it, when you get in the moment, just forget about everything and go do what you've trained to do, what your muscle memory knows, you know. Right. And, and this song kind of it, it has that. I, I can resonate with that as a, as a contestant, but uh -huh. you just you have to lose yourself oh. to to get there. You right, know what right, I mean? right. In North Carolina, right before the championship round, I was sitting in my trailer and I was listening to the song, and I ain't gonna lie to you, I was crying and thinking, I was like, I want it bad. I gotta go do it. It's nothing else but to leave it out on the, you know, in the arena floor. And so I was in there playing this song, and you know, one shot. It's like you say, you only got one shot. Yep. And that's it. You every time you run a steer, it's your one shot. That's everything you wanted. So you take advantage of that moment. Yes, sir. And that's what I love about this song. And we're gonna belt it out here a little bit. Yes, sir. Back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, there goes gravity. Joe, he's so mad. stage that's showtime and you see that with a lot of people that man take a practice pin you can't beat them oh yeah 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 but when you get out on that big stage that's that's when it shows the true champions right you know and that's the thing you know when i've been home practicing i don't have a bunch of guys around me i'm usually at the house practicing by myself and so i have guys record me and you know, i mean i'm pretty sure you know me and you have talked i show you videos all the yeah. time look what can I do to critique this? What can I do to critique this? Kind of like in football, just reading the field, you know what I mean? Yep. I just need somebody to help me read the ring. Well, and that's the deal. You know, you, you went back, you know, I go back to the Eminem song. You, you went back to the lab after the run. Now it's time to come back on stage. Yes, sir. Yes, and, sir. And no, and to me, I people say, well, you lost. I said, no, I learned. Correct. You correct. know, I, I never put loss in my vocabulary. No. Because to me, that has such a negative connotation. Uh, where when you say I've learned that that's where you that's where you kind of go to the next level of, of being a winner. You correct, know? correct. And you mentioned bull riding. Do you got any bull riding championships under your belt? Did you? Did you? I actually do. Uh, I traveled in the uh, Bill Pickett Association, yep. and I'm a I'm a six time Bill Pickett World Champion nice. in Mister Wrestling. I have five all around titles. I have a calf roping title and a bull riding title. Wow. But one year, I actually won all of them, and I was like, man, I'm like a triple black, crown. Yeah, I was like, I'm like the black the black shirt Brazil. <laughs> you know, I got the I got the calf roping, the bulldog, and the all around and the bull riding. They can't tell me nothing. Right, and so you know, <laughs> well, that, so you won all four. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, well, that's not like, triple. That's a quadruple. Right? Like, yeah, I'm like the black shirt of Brazil. No, you're yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. yeah so <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty cool, man. And to be able to have those titles, we're gonna go to another song, Tori. Uh oh. Yeah. Because the summer run in the rodeo world is a huge run for us. Big run. Big run. Big run. Guy, can go ahead and knock them finals out right then. Yes, sir. I mean, like. I know guys like Cody O, he started at the summer and made yeah. the finals, but exactly. I mean, you know. It was 1989, my thoughts were short, my hair was long. Caught somewhere between a boy and man. That would be caught between yeah. a boy and man. She was 17 and she was hard from in between. The summertime in northern Michigan. And we were trying different things. We were smoking funny things. Making love out by the lake to our favorite song Sipping whiskey out the bottle Not thinking about tomorrow Singing Sweet Home Alabama all summer long we talked about singing Kid Rock. He's he's putting on that Kid Rock and Roll Rodeo because you're in top two at Corpus. You get you get to go on to the WCRA's team, Free Riders, and and uh, have a chance at uh, to play because it's that's what it is a game to play at the Kid Rock and Roll Rodeo. Right, right. And I would love you know for the opportunity to. 
be on the WCRA team. I, like I said, the WCRA, I, I mean, I really appreciate everything they've done. And I feel like they're just making things better and better for Cowboys. You know, what, like I say, it goes back to whether you're a PRCA guy or a weekend warrior. Yep. It's just opening up doors everywhere to just give something for everybody to look forward yep. to. I'm going to charge you with this. I want you to run one steer at a time. But main thing I want you to keep doing is this right here. <laughs> yes, sir. Hustling, man. I'm gonna keep hustling. That. I mean, everybody takes hustling for what it is. You know, whether it's you know being the best basketball player, being the best football player, or being the best cowboy. And I feel like, I mean, my hustle is back in the box, and like you just said, running them stairs one one stair at a time. That's all I can do. And, and everyone, everyone I knock down, pull a check. And every time I pull a check, I'm hustling. And, Getting pulled in, you know what I mean? That's it, man. Well, we are at your destination. Don't worry about a charge, just a tip. If you see me, Venmo, you know, it's just Luke Bar Brank. We don't know much about Venmo, but Tori, good luck to you, buddy. I appreciate you. You bet, man. Stick it on. Right, I'll be watching you. and cheering you on. I thank you for everything. And as the commissioner, I hope you're at the Kid Rock and Roll Rodeo. You see me there. I mean, good luck All to right, you, buddy. Sir.